Listen in for some positivity and good times. The views and opinions of our guests may not necessarily reflect those of the host or the Vibes Broadcast Network. Listener discretion is advised. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Listen to the Vibes in my ongoing series on the spiritual journey, which is The Wizard of Oz. Uh, when we start off the movie, the opening scene is Dorothy and Toto, and they're going down the, the dirt road. And Dorothy is checking on Toto to see if he's okay, because Miss Gulch, their neighbor, had hit her. Um, now, I, I don't believe you actually see this happen, but uh, Toto bit uh, Miss Gulch, and so she reacted by taking a swing at him. And... Uh, after that, Dorothy goes home. She goes to tell everyone what happened, you know, giving her side of the story, <clears throat> kind of giving her defense of, of Toto. Um, and <clears throat> this goes to Annie M and, and Uncle Henry and this farmhands. Miss um, Gulch then ends up coming to the farm. Uh, she wants to take Toto away. And Dorothy turns to her aunt and uncle saying, hey, you know, you got to stop this. This isn't right. And eventually, Miss Gulch does take off with Toto. But if you recall, Toto does escape, comes back home. And when he does, that's when Dorothy's like, hey, let's let's get out of here. Now, she kind of already made up her mind because she looks at adults as either being just evil or weak. Uh, Toto, like I said, escapes, comes home. Dorothy picks him up, takes off. And then they, as they're going along, and mind you, the, the, the whole context of this is she's not running away from the judgment. Now she's running away because she's disappointed. She's disappointed in the law. She's disappointed in her family. And the, the law doesn't seem to be supporting the truth to her and what's right. And EM has tried to argue with Miss Gulch before all this took place. I mean, before Dorothy took off and Miss Gulch took Toto, but she also stops and says, you know, I'd like to tell you what I think about you, but I'm a Christian. So that keeps me from doing that. Um, this is a way of saying how Christianity actually doesn't have the influence it once did over society or, or the law, um, at least compared to spiritual law. And like Jesus, who did break the law, and he was crucified for it, but he did it for a greater purpose. And we see that today with the law. Truth isn't fought for anymore. It's pretty much insanity if you see the way things are i mean what used to be against the law seems to be made to be okay and accepted and evil is more protected than what good is dorothy is being dorothy being on the run mm -hmm. has left the social system mm -hmm. which was represented by her family and she's trying to break free psychologically as well as physically and she's trying to mature she's trying to grow she's risked everything but you will see that dorothy does show her weakness as well and it's because of her attachment to her auntie m and she runs into this wizard that he you know decides that he's going to look in his crystal ball to kind of tell dorothy her future that kind of thing now if you remember what he ends up doing is he looks into dorothy's stuff and he finds this picture of of annie m and he decides he's going to use that to his benefit to make her want to go home i don't say his benefit but you know to make it look like he has these powers and to make dorothy want to go back home and he sees that, sees that Annie M is suffering. And because of that, Dorothy's 
emotional attachment makes her want to go back home because just like the world tries to appeal to, to your emotions, they want you to compromise your beliefs. Right? They want you to cave in to the, the world's demands. They, they say things like that. If you don't do what we tell you, it's going to kill your grandma or that you can't be around your family and friends. And if you don't do exactly as you, as they say, uh, you can't even participate in society anymore. So people having that, that, uh, that attachment to people, their compassion, their compassion is used against them in a way. It's like, Hey, you want to come back? Then you have to do as we say. Now I'm, I'm using that, you know, they're talking about killing your grandma and all this other stuff as an example of some of the things that are, are happening, but it's also with, um, with religion or, or Christianity in general. Um, the best way to put it is, you know, they, they, they try to take Christianity out of everything. It used to be prominent in school. And then they, they took, took God out of the school. They're, they're trying to take the, the 10 commandments out of, out of the, uh, the courthouses and in government buildings. And you, if you see anything that you remove God from, it becomes chaotic and it's doesn't have the same, um, power towards like virtuous things it's it's run amok uh, i mean the schools the the things that they teach some of the, these kids they're not virtuous and I, i'm sorry but i just think that you should stick to just teaching just teaching you shouldn't be bringing your opinions into the classroom and your lifestyle into the classroom i'm not saying that your lifestyle is wrong that's that's all if you like it that's fine i just don't think that you should bring it be bringing your life into the classroom and you shouldn't be teaching that you know it, it's it's like with the the movies and television it's kind of like a reoccurring theme that people make fun of your belief in god they they say vile things about god that you didn't hear ages ago seems like ages ago i think you should still be respectful i mean you don't have to be a christian you don't have to to like god you don't have to believe in god you don't have to believe in in christianity itself but it used to be a respect for it. And it's like, you need to respect this, but you don't need to respect Christianity, this lifestyle, or, you know, they want the, things like pornography and profanity to be okay and accepted, but goodness, Christianity, that's somehow wrong. The Bible says we're in this world, but we're not of this world. And I, I think the way that the author is trying to, to show that exact sentiment is when Dorothy leaves home, but they're appealing to her, her emotions and her, her love for, you know, the societal structure, which is the family, not that family's wrong. That's just, that's, if you see, that's what it's trying to show. So she gets, she caves in, she goes home. And unfortunately, a lot of people compromise their beliefs because of the world. I think you should stand your ground. Have your, have your morals and your principles. Don't compromise those things. That's, that's why it seems like society is breaking down. And, and as a matter of fact, 
once you have made a stand and it's not the, the mainstream ideal, they go as far as to try to cancel you. That's, uh, it's a distortion of the truth. But just like the wizard who, who didn't really see anything in his crystal ball, he looked through Dorothy's things, he found this picture of Annie M, and using that, he convinced her to give up her journey and go back. Uh, I can see different points of view of this, of what has happened. I'd really like to get somebody on who's more steeped into this um, whole uh, principle ideal that's going on behind this, what you actually see. But it's going to be partially what I've seen from other people and partially my own ideas. I'm probably going to make another video later on that uh, may seem contradictory, but you'll see it kind of lines up as well. But anyway, we're going to leave it at that. There's still a lot more to tell. Until the next one, please take care. Be kind to one another. God bless and peace. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Listen to the Vibes. You can catch us on Buzzsprout or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. And on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook at The Vibes Broadcast Network.